Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain. It was not that. It was literally me saying, "Oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus." Like that was. Little Nas X admits he messed up really bad. In a rather unexpected move, Little Nas X found himself at the center of controversy following the release of his latest single, J Christ, and its accompanying promotional campaign. Widely recognized for his bold and provocative style, the pop star decided to confront the backlash head-on by taking to social media to share his thoughts on the matter. Like where my head at, and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot. In a lengthy four and a half minute video, Little Nas X appeared to be genuinely remorseful as he addressed the criticism surrounding the religious imagery associated with his new release. The artist acknowledged that he had made a misstep and expressed a desire to set the record straight, shedding light on the intentions behind his creative choices. The video served as a platform for Little Nas X to open up about the mental toll the backlash had taken on him. Despite his often unbothered public persona, he admitted the situation was affecting him emotionally, emphasizing the sincerity of his response. Throughout the video, Little Nas X aimed to clarify his artistic intentions, emphasizing that he did not set out to offend or mock anyone with the controversial imagery. Uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a fuck you to you people, um, fuck you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't. Aware of the sensitivity surrounding religious themes, he explained the symbolism behind J. Christ and asserted that his goal was to convey a message of his return, drawing parallels to Jesus. Little Nas X acknowledged that religion is a sensitive topic and expressed regret for the mental toll the situation has taken on him. Continuing his video response, Little Nas X specifically apologized for a controversial TikTok video where he ate communion bread and drank wine dressed as Jesus. He candidly explained that his intention was to add humor, not provoke controversy, admitting a misunderstanding of the potential impact. This segment showcased his self-awareness, humility, and commitment to addressing specific instances that contributed to the overall controversy. It added nuance to his response and highlighted the complexities of navigating artistic expression within religious themes. The video ended with Little Nas X emphasizing that he's here to bring people together and promote love, not to attack or disrespect anyone's values. He hopes that everyone can move forward from this and appreciate the artistry behind J. Christ. In addressing the debut of J. Christ at number 69 of the Hot 100 and the ensuing controversy surrounding its religious imagery, Little Nas X didn't shy away from expressing pride in both the song and its video. In an exclusive interview, Little Nas X revealed his spiritual outlook on the song's reception, expressing gratitude for still being in the charts and part of the conversation. He highlighted his spiritual beliefs and dedication to his upcoming sophomore album, emphasizing the hard work and internal growth invested in the project. Little Nas X also hinted at potential acting endeavors, mentioning that he took an acting class that felt like a therapy session. With a mysterious smile, he teased, there may be some things coming, leaving us curious about what the future holds for his artistic ventures. Little Nas X left fans intrigued about what artistic ventures the future may hold. Now, this isn't the first time Little Nas X has stirred controversy with religious imagery. We all remember the devilish lap dance in Montero, Call Me By Your Name, and those infamous blood-filled shoes. 
This recurrent theme has prompted the artist to consistently defend his work, emphasizing its deeper meaning, as noted by Rolling Stone. The article highlights the artist's inclination to stand firm in the face of criticism, asserting that there is more profound significance beneath the surface of his provocative artistic expressions. The rapper's ability to provoke and garner attention has been a consistent part of his marketing strategy. However, as a black, gay artist straddling the realms of pop and rap, Lil Nas X's mere existence in the industry often makes him a cultural lightning rod. The question arises, is he at fault for leveraging controversy to his advantage? Or are those scandalized by his actions equally responsible for taking the bait? This controversy isn't exclusive to Lil Nas X. Other artists like Doja Cat and Sabrina Carpenter have also used religious imagery in their music, prompting varying degrees of backlash. It raises broader question about the music industry's relationship with religious figures and conservative sentiments. Just a mere two weeks after the controversial drop of J. Christ, Lil Nas X is hitting us with a brand new single titled Where Do We Go Now? According to the artist, it's described as music to match with your depression. Intriguing, right? You can listen to Where Do We Go Now right now, and it's interesting to see how Lil Nas X is exploring different musical dimensions, especially after the buzz around J. Christ. It seems like he's continuing to push boundaries and surprise us with his versatile artistry. Where Do We Go Now follows a two-year hiatus from singles, with his last releases being Late to the Party and Star Walkin' League of Legends World Anthem in 2022. And for all you Lil Nas X fans out there, mark your calendars. Lil Nas X Long Live Montero, a documentary about the pop sensation, will be airing on HBO Saturday, January 27 at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can also catch it on Max the same evening. It's it's a great opportunity to get a deeper look into the artist's journey and creative process. The film delves into his journey, including his family's acceptance of his queerness and a surprising visit to a gay bar with his dad. Opening up about the unexpected positive response from his family, Little Nas X shared a heartwarming moment when his dad insisted on joining him at a gay bar, creating a memorable and affirming experience. The documentary also captures a touching moment when Little Nas X's brother Brother, Trayman Hall publicly comes out as bisexual. Little Nas X expressed his surprise at this revelation, highlighting the beauty of his brother's openness about his journey. We can't wait to see how this film unfolds. And there you have it, music lovers. What a roller coaster journey with Little Nas X. What do you think is next for him? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. He's not backing down. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things Little Nas X. Until next time, keep vibing to the rhythm, and we'll catch you in the next episode.